I have your bottle here, so oh, it's okay, great to good. talk to you about it. And yeah, first, I, this, you know, I, I just read that uh, now this wine is going to be the first Spanish wine, you know, available um, through Bordeaux Negocion in Bordeaux. Yes. Like, um, yeah, yeah. how did that come about? And, and why did you think it was important for a Spanish wine to be sold um, through the Negocion in Bordeaux? Now, you know, I think that... Um... Bordeaux, La Place de Bordeaux is becoming uh, an important loudspeaker, you know, for the great wines in the world. I think they, it's very clever because, you know, in the beginning they were very, they were not so positive, the, the, the Bordeaux producers, when, uh, you know, well, all this started because Baron Philippe, you know, had this joint venture with uh, Robert Mondavi, so it was mm. like, I, but they were not so very, was, yeah. then, then slowly they realized that, uh, well, maybe it was not so bad idea that Bordeaux was going to be the place to sell the greatest wines in the in the world because it's true that the system is completely different from what we have here. But the system of having 800 negotiations with their, their customers and in one day suddenly there is a kind of uh, water resonance, you know, in one day yeah. everybody is pushing and everybody is, is having those wines available together with the, the greatest wine from Bordeaux. That the end is a, it's a very important machine. So, you know, this started like, with the Californian wine that uh, you had Italian, that you know very well, you know, the success of some Italian wines in La Place de Bordeaux. And even some great producers like the Perrin family put their, you know, uh, homage Jacques Perrin in, in the market. And you know, my contacts with Bordeaux, they are very important, you know, uh, through Jean Guillaume, through many negotiations or producers. And why not? And it was, you know, what, why there is no a, a, a top Spanish wine in the, yeah. in the place. No? So we're starting I asked to, myself like, the same. Yeah, we started talking. And, and at the end, you know, uh, I had uh, many discussions for more than a year. And, uh, and for example, I thought for me always I was because they wanted some of my top wines because now they, you know, they, they, they was, there was a, a market and they were collectors looking for our wines. And for me, it was, I think it was very important to do something in Rioja. And why? Because Rioja had an amazing relationship with Bordeaux since the, the 18th century. You know, in Remeyuris in La Bastida, La Bastida produced the first wine. Yeah, the first fine wine in the history of Spain. It was in 1760. And it was Manuel Quintano in the village of La Bastida. And then there was this amazing yeah, project sure. of Medo Calaves, you know, that uh, was in the in the 19th century, you know, in, eight, in 1860, you know, they, it was an amazing, uh, uh, an amazing project led by some Basque intellectuals together with the Marquis de Riscal. And uh, and they did something amazing. They 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 brought a maitre de from Chateau Lanesson in, in Margot, and they they started like they started the real revolution of Spain. So so yeah, I understand so I the the rich history so, of of Rioja and Bordeaux and how producers all came, also came after Phylloxera, and that's um, you know you were really tied have some great ties to Bordeaux. Um, but I, but I think that what's interesting is, is that you were the first one to do it, and you could definitely see the advantage of at least having a, a new wine um, through the system, um, not only for sales, yes. but I guess for promotion, right? I think, I think Bordeaux and France should look more to Spain now in a moment that Spain is going to explode. And uh, we're going to demonstrate that there are amazing places and there was an amazing wine. I think the partnership, Bordeaux, with Spain or Bordeaux with Rioja, I think it is very important. And it's true mm. that, uh, well, I, you know, I, I started my wine culture with uh, in Bordeaux with, uh, with the Prats family. And then, you know, and I think it was, it was interesting to, 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 you know, to arrive to Bordeaux with a completely different mentality. And I think that uh, I, I think Bordeaux can be an amazing uh, boat to go through the world. And uh, and to create a, a project with a lot of history because we had a history together, but being more talented in the sense that let's demonstrate that there is a, an amazing uh, Grand Cru here, 
and I think to do it both both I think it's it's great. I think I'm taking advantage with with uh, you know with a lot of partners now that they want to help us, like uh, like the Juan, you know, like. Uh, Jean Contana working with Ron and many good producers from Bordeaux that they are very happy that I'm, I'm going there. And mm -hmm. I think this is, there are both things, uh, history and talent. And, uh, and together with Bordeaux, I think this is the moment that Bordeaux can be a partner and can be another important element to, to talk about the great Spain that is there waiting for uh, amazing uh merchants and amazing people that they are buying the grand cruise from bordeaux and they want to have to talking a lot with both with the with laplace they they were looking and they were they were they wanted to have a partner from spain and i think together we found that this great history and and an historic place even if if you see you know I, we don't talk about Gran Remeyuri, but we we are using Remeyuri as a very very old state and i saw uh, that and to take to take the advantage of an amazing place that was a vineyard, and and in fact, you know, the uh, I put this date 1420s when the monks left the monastery and they left Remyuri. So since then, has been an amazing history managing the our estate, and we are the, the we are the last part of this history. And myself, I'm even more or less because I'm the second generation. My father passing away. And, look, and say, look, now we put everything in place to produce one of the greatest wines of uh, of Rioja, and I think that we have we have everything. We have the we have the history, we have the terroir. We have been working ten years in this wine, and uh, suddenly with Laplace, I think everything everything takes place. And I believe I believe that you know you know I had a lot of discussions with my importers and. Everybody was very, very, not very, not very positive, but very frightened because, you know, in Spain, we work with importers that they are, they are your ambassadors. Yeah, of course. And they don't want to have like La Plata, this La Plata is like a big, big mess in the sense that everybody can sell your wine. Because I think today we are going to use seven negocios, but they are going to be top, top negocios. And the importers, they are a little bit uh, worried, no, that they don't have exclusivity. But uh, well, but I and you know when I was discussing with my courtier, uh, mm -hmm. I want to put all the wine in all the world. I don't want to keep any market. But also, yeah. that's um that this is very useful for you as well because uh, there's a lot of markets that you can't find um, credible or good importers. Um, I think about China or other parts of Asia or um, you know other parts of the world, and um, the Bordeaux system ha is very strong globally. So it gives you um, global penetration um, and distribution. And so um, it works very well in addition to your traditional importers. So it can be a win-win. Well, I, I think so. But for me, it's more, you know, I'm very, you know, James, I'm very romantic. I think that for me, I do this, you know, I know this wine and because we have demonstrated that we are able to produce great wines. And uh, today, some of our wines, they are really, they are, they are very successful. The prices they break the, the prices of the normal Spanish wine that we have wine. So for us, mm. it's not a problem. But, but I think that goes further. I think we want to change the history, and I don't want to be pretentious. But I think I would love the, really to do something much more deep. Because at the end, myself, I represent today Ihar, but today I represent like a kind of revolution of terroir. I think that mm -hmm. you know. What we did in Spain in the last uh, years, I think, is really to, you know, we, we are not just thinking in our small business. We are we want to go further. We want to have an influence in the in the in the way Spain is seeing in the in the market of the fine wine. I think today, if you if you analyze Spain, you know, there is we are not considered in the in the fine wine markets. I think there is in auctions, in yeah. there's apart Mega Sicilia or Pingus or some. Yeah. It's true. You know, very rare wines. That's so it. Yeah. We need to, you know, when you see the can, when you see the Cantor magazine, you see, you see, you see the auctions. And I'm sorry, there is Bordeaux, there is Burgundy, there yeah. is some, uh, you know, uh, but at the end, Spain hasn't got this profile. Yeah, I, I really see that, and I think that uh, this is a good move for Spain in general. It's not just for you, but um, the the big question is, um, Ihar, like it, you created this wine. Uh, this is a new wine 
I'm not sure I've had it before. Was this created to be sold um, surplus then? Yes, this is a project that is the it's a project that we started many years ago. And to mm -hmm. tell you the truth, I didn't know how to sell this wine because you know Remyudi is a state. We have 94 hectares, and it's through the part of studying the history of Remyudi. We were studying where is the javel, what is the the, the beauty of Remyudi, where are the the really the concrete of Remyudi. And at the end, we did a lot of works with uh, the many specialists of soil. We did a lot of analysis, and we. We were looking for the for the for the super, and at the end, it's true that when you have a 94 hectare property, you know not everything can be gone through, you know. And uh, and it's true that for me, the challenge was to find the the real devil, and because I I needed something outstanding, because you know we did a lot of tasting in the last couple of years with all the wines sold in the Plaza de Bordeaux. We were tasting mm -hmm. all the California, the South Af South Americans, all the Italian wines. And we needed to do a wine really in the top, you know, in all the tastings, even with Maceto, with everything. Yeah. We were tasting this wine and always we were in the top. And, uh, and we needed something really, really spectacular to, to start from a really, a, from a very good position. And, uh, and it's true that, well, you, you've seen all my communication. I, well, I don't talk about Granja Remigui because at the end, we didn't we didn't want like a, you know we didn't we wanted something from with a real uh with very good basement and uh something very spectacular to to start well for your for the wines you normally make in rioja this is quite plush style it's quite it's a, a richer style with lots of fruit and uh beautiful tannins and but of course that's partly yeah. the 2017 vintage right it was, you know, it's a hotter year. Well, the, the 2017 vintage was marked by a big frost. The, the mm -hmm. production was very, we had a very, very low production. And it's true that, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the program that we did by selecting, you know, the, the, our special plots, it's true that we had an amazing, an amazing production of Ihar. And, and it's why it was the beginning. Yeah. I decided that this wine was really representing an amazing, you see this pepper, the fruity, the yeah, roundness. Yeah, totally. And, and I think that, uh, you know, I think this is, this is an amazing wine. As I say, you know, always in all the tasting, we have done blind with very good people. This wine was always outstanding. And I think we have, we have here, and you know, all these idea of the 3.8 hectares of Ijar that we selected to create this one were, you know, all those, the vineyard that they were with those quantity of, uh, you know, of, of stones at 35 centimeters, that is very rare, but with an amazing, with an amazing um, uh, management of the water. And I think this is, we had everything we needed to, to produce as something amazing. What's, so, what's uh, the, what's the blend then? It's not, um, there's, there, what's in it? It's a Tempranillo, yeah, it's Garnacha. A it's a, it's a field blend, you know, the, you know, yeah. when, oh, okay. I, 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 I like the idea of the field blend. I think uh, I, I love to show Rioja. The, the, the original Rioja, the, the old Rioja was always a blend of yeah. many, many different, many different grapes. It's true that are, we haven't got as many as in Las Beatas, for example, but yeah. you know, but we have uh, a lot of Graciano, Garnacha, Matuelo, Granegro. We have, we have different oh, things. Okay. But it's really, uh, the profile should be a, a very, very, Typical, like classic, uh, talented Rioja, you know, with with, yeah. with, the, with the main with the main arguments of Rioja. You know? And, so, and um, I guess you, um, it'll be released in September, along yes. with the other wines like Opus, uh, Solaya, Maceto. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we are now uh -huh. we, we are choosing we are choosing now the the date, uh, mm -hmm. but it's, it's it's going to be released in September. Already, we have the pool of uh, negocios that they are, uh, and I think I'm very happy because everybody is very excited. It's true that well, no, nobody, after, uh, apart from things business, you know, we, I, I'm trying to man to manage this with with a lot of care, and uh, but it's true that now there is excitement in the market because the the people is talking about this this release, and yeah. I think the wine is going to be outstanding. Well, now it's true that it's going to be very important. Uh, what, uh, you, why is very important what Luis already tasted, and I think he's going to publish. Uh, I think we're going, I think you know, now it's very important, which is the perception of the leaders, sure. you know. Of uh, and I think this is 
uh, this is for me extremely important. And I think that, uh, well, and I, I'm sure already, you know, the, um, already the, the top negotiations, you know, like Joan, they are, they are buying. I find that the wine, it changes a lot in the glass. Like, um, it starts off with lots of fruit and then, um, and the tannins are quite plush and velvety. And then it's interesting. It becomes really sort of fresh and yeah. opens up. It's a pretty, it does the, normally you have a wine that's tight and then it, oh, but yeah. your wine gets sort of firmer and finer. It just sort of, you know, floats into the wine. It's pretty exceptional, but I think it, it's because of this field blend, you know, it's not just a tempranillo. And you know, I, I think Dave, really, eh, I, um, you know, we are, we are not, we are not, um, Recipe producers. I think yeah. you, if you, yeah, you, we have tested together last last week. Of course. Uh, Ta yeah. Tawerniga, Las Beatas. Yeah, uh, crazy Raja stuff. Remiuri. I think we have, we have this attitude that everything should be, and it's true that this for me this wine is magic. I think this wine because it comes from a. I never we never did you know a, when I started in Remiuri in 2010 uh, uh, we were putting in place you know and for me the. the for me, it was very clear that I needed to do an amazing wine because was something amazing was was here waiting for you know this this property has been worked in amazingly well in the last fifty years and the only thing now I needed to find the truffle the truffle of the property and and because the viticulture was there and it's true for me I today I feel very very comfortable showing these wines and you know I can tell you you know, uh, doing with uh, amazing good sommeliers and tasting blind, everybody was amazed because I think it's the purity and it's, just, and it's something very important. Those mm -hmm. wines are going to age for 50 years or 60 years and they're going to be amazing because I believe the great Rioja that disappeared completely in, in the last mm -hmm. 50 years or 70 years is here. I think this wine shows the beauty when you are, we were talking last week about uh, tasting all wine. Next time you come to see me, you will yes. see we will open a, a Tondonia 34 and, and you will see what, 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 how were the wines of Rioja in the 30s, in the 20s, and those wines disappeared. The beauty of those wines that they disappeared, they will come back on track. And, uh, and I think this is, this is the challenge. And it's why in hotels, because we, we did a lot of work and it's to my, my chance, I find this wine that, that was perfect for the plus. But it's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a question of, uh, you know, I think, I, I think you have everything there. It's very impressive. Like I said, the, it's very complex. And also I like that there's some spiciness in, in it and just a little bit of dried fruits. And, and how interesting you said that. In a way, it tastes like wines, you know, like I had some crazy Bordeaux last week, 61 Latour and 61 Petrus at a friend's birthday in Hong Kong. And those old wines have that sort of character of, of this intense terroir. And um, I don't know, it has a lot going for it. It's not just this perfectly crafted supermodel of a wine. It has real, Absolutely. like, um, you know, Alma. It has real soul. Yeah, the soul. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think that the, what I want, I'm looking for with Bordeaux and with Laplace is to demonstrate that the, the world today is very open and we are looking for amazing things. It's like what happened with food. We are looking for the talent, we are looking for different, but, but the beauty is there. And as I just say, uh, you can be tasting a 61 uh, Petrus, it was an amazing year, but you know, in the future, we are going to taste those wines as part of the of the family of the great wines that they have been produced in the world. And yeah. even it's more spectacular if you have the history. I think those, 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 in, in this wine, there is, there is no uh, cosmetic. I think this is, everything is there. And if it doesn't work, means that, okay, we, we are, I think that it's a, it's a for me, it's, it's very emotional uh, what we have been doing with this because it's, I think we are going to change. It's like when Adria, the monopoly of France after yeah, 300 years, yeah. and with them, I say, look to the world that the talent is everywhere. Talent is everywhere. That the only thing is we have to separate very well from the talent, from the average, from from cosmetics. And I, I would love to see in Spain amazing wines arriving to La Place and, and great people doing amazing wines in in, in the best of worlds.
That's perfect. Well, um, Tamo, thanks a lot for the quick conversation. I enjoyed tasting the wine. It's really um, special. And um, I'll look forward to talking to you in, um, in September good. about it when you, you. Um, when you release it. And good luck with the harvest. Uh, okay? Thank you, James. Thank okay, you for your time. Thanks Peace. again. Bye -bye. Nos vemos. Gracias. Peace. Ciao.